and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm joined once again with Utah Rocks. <laughs> and we are out here and we've got Jeremy coming down. You guys might remember him from a previous episode when we were getting some of that pink topaz and Bixbyite. So we're here today at his red barrel claim. So Jeremy's got lots of cool claims we can come to and he does fee digs and it's great. So if you guys would like to come out here and dig some red barrel yourself, which is basically red emerald, here you go. Here's a link to his website. You can go there and you can sign up and come out and have a fun trip. That's what we did. I did. Are, are you moving? I'm moving to oh. Grand Junction, so. Oh no. Yes. I'll see less of you. I don't like that. Yeah. I know, but I'll get you out of here. You have to be the rugged rock hound in Colorado, I guess, now. Huh? Well, yeah. Well, still a lot of Utah because Grand Junction is very close to Utah. Exactly. Got There's Southern a lot of Utah. good stuff there. You got all the Southern Utah. You can hit that a lot easier. And Central. So, what kind of stuff do you find up here? So we're finding, first of all, red barrel. I mm -hmm. mean, that's the uh, red emerald, basically. If people don't know what red barrel is, it's the rarest, rare, rarest red colored gemstone in the world. Um, 150,000 times more rare than diamonds. GIA, that's what GIA said. What about ruby? Ruby is not even <laughs> close to as rare as red barrel. <laughs> red barrel is the rarest <laughs> and uh, most sought after for sure. So. We're looking for topaz. You'll find more topaz than anything. Um, I think your son actually called the garnet pseudomorphs crunch berries the last time we were out. <laughs> so we're finding crunch berries, which are garnet pseudomorphs. They uh, originally were spessartine almadine garnets, mm -hmm. and then they pseudomorphed into hematite and feldspar, but they still have the garnet core. So we get them in combinations too. So the ultimate is when you get like, uh, all of them together. We've had garnet pseudomorph with Bixby with topaz with red barrel all together. So oh, that would be fun. That's, uh, that's what we're really looking for. That makes for a specimen. Absolutely. <laughs> so this little zone here, I call it little amethyst topaz basin. And if you want to find uh, amethyst on the rock with topaz, this is a good place to find it because the topaz occur in like these amethyst bugs here. And uh, Amethystine line bugs, I guess. I'm gonna put this piece. So here. this pit over here is actually the Holfertite pit. So this is where Holfertite was mm -hmm. discovered. It's a uranium-based mineral. It's named after my business partner, John Holfert. Wow. So this oh. pit up here, I call pit number two. This was very active until about the 90s, and we found rosette barrels here. So they're more Ooh, thin, nice. but they're rosettes. So they stack on each other and they kind of look like little flowers, little roses. That's what I'd like. <laughs> Most of them are real jimmy up there. Oh, so good. it's nice to spend a little bit of time up there. You can still find them. Um, my group that's down below, they found two yesterday, oh, but nice. they were just loose. They were just found them random. Okay. So the best thing to do is actually work the rock and then screen. I, mean, you've, I know you guys have uh, looked Familiar there. with that, yes. Welcome to Cyril Canyon Red Barrel Mine. Yay! And we're looking for... <laughs> right, it's in this pit? Yeah, it's absolutely. So we're looking for Red Barrel. Red. So that's the rarest red color gemstone in the world. We're looking for Topaz. We're working for Bixbyite, Holfertite, Amethyst, and Crunchberries, which are garnet pseudomorphs. And they're replaced by Hematite and Feldspar. All right, first red barrel was found by you today. Yeah. There you go. Got that nice hexagon. Oh yeah, these are thicker. Yeah, most of them are pretty thick. Can't that wait. is nice. Number nice. two red barrel. Look at that thing. Like two little ones. Beautiful. You got one too. You got one. Nice. Oh, he's got a real tiny one. I wouldn't even have been able to see that one. Red barrel number three. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Right. So my first screen, I just found a bunch of little ones, but on my second screen, I started off with a nice big topaz. Very nice. It's a good find right there. So yeah, the other ones were just a bunch of little ones. Haven't got my first red barrel yet, but I'm hopeful it's in this one. Maybe we can spot it together. Oh, right there. It's a red barrel. There we go. There's a red barrel. So I'm pulling out lots of topazes, and I've gotten four red barrels so far. This is the first one I've gotten a matrix, though. Nice little red barrel matrix. These will look better when I get them home cleaned up. They're a little dirty here. All right, in this basket, I just pulled out two nice clusters. Look at that one. Very nice. 
Woo! So, good cluster. And then another little cluster. Pretty nice. Not too bad. Got a nice little specimen here, topaz with a garnet perched on it. And it's a nice little cluster. Cool little specimen there. And another nice little topaz cluster. Very nice. Once again, I will get these all cleaned off. Cool. Kind of a brownish red. I just pulled this out. It's a nice red barrel on a topaz with a lot of Bixbyites on it. Uh, what a cool find. That is a specimen. Gonna wrap that thing up. So this is the nicest looking red barrel I've found so far. It's got a very gemmy look to it. Lots of Bixbyite on it. But right there, that's beautiful right there. <laughs> Just glows in the sun. So all these pieces, like that piece had it on, and then that piece I showed Let's take a look at some of these pieces. And there's nice topaz that come out of here too, a nice barrel. So I see that needle-like yellow crystal in it? It's tiny. That is Hulfertite, that tiny little yellow blade. If you can see it even. Look at this one, they just found that topaz on Matrix. Let's turn that a little bit. Look at that thing shine. It's a very good crystal on Matrix. Very nice. We got Jeremy here digging a vent. So that hole going down is just a solid vent that's just got topaz coming out. Got a lot of hematite. See the hematite on the rock? Really altered rock. Some topaz sitting here. A little bit at a time. You can see the topaz on there. So a little bit. Little Got a little topaz there and there. There's some hematite. There's another topaz. You can see it's the edge of a large pocket. You see how see how loose it is? It's yeah. Wide that's, open that's going down. Wide it. open. It's so nice. Uh -huh. Here's the bucket. That's why uh Holfertite actually has to have an opening a pretty pretty wide opening in order to form so we've dug this vent before back here going down this way and mm -hmm. it's buried a little bit it's just really hard rock so i was hoping it would have loosened up a little bit and it did it's still hard work though here show us that thing you just wow. found wow look at beauty. that topaz that's a big one really nice yeah wrap that thing in toilet paper Right here. Little, but it's cool because it's got so much rocks. variety in it. It's in the matrix. Oh, yeah, and a little nice little Dad, matrix piece that got a nice can termination. I, have it? I haven't gotten one like that. I found another piece that, that has a tiny one. Can I put it in here now? You might want to wrap it in toilet paper. Yeah. I just collect so I pulled that out of the pocket. Nice little combo there. And then I've got a few other things here too, just like this. Nice little double terminated. Things like that. Nice. So just a few things. Uh, admittedly, I haven't been filming for a while. I just came back up here and just decided to keep going through it. So just pulling out tons of topazes, mostly low quality, but it's important to take them back and wash them off to see if any of them have anything good on it, like a red barrel or a Bixbyite or something. Anyway, thought I'd show you this nice red barrel. Very good one. Nice clean one all the way around. And yeah, it's just a good crystal. I'm in the upper pit where they've tunneled inside quite a bit. All over there. And I was opening up this right here. And if you ever wanted a hematite, there's plenty there. Here, I'll do a flashlight just to see if that helps at all. But yeah, hematite everywhere. Here's this one washed off. Very nice and clear. Just wish it, the tip wasn't broken off. Here's this one washed off. Nice red barrel perched on the topaz. Unfortunately, the topaz is a sandy topaz. But it's still really cool. 
There's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. Very red right there. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. Very nice. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. this washed off. This is a garnet that was replaced on the outside with Bixbyite, small Bixbyite crystals all over. Here's this washed off, bunch of Bixbyite, and a little red barrel there that you can barely see. Here we are back at the vehicles. Wow, I, I actually had to switch through my lens a lot and I <laughs> probably messed up on some of them. And uh, because I found so much stuff that I didn't film, because a lot of it's just the same and it's hard to really film without it being cleaned. Um, that's why you guys just saw most of them cleaned kind of at the end. I didn't really show them throughout. I, I know I'm trying to show them throughout, you know, washing them and showing them right after I find it. But these all kind of look the same. <laughs> so, so I kind of just showed them in bulk all at the end. So I hope I didn't mind that too much. This is my last rock handing trip out here in Utah while living in Pleasant Grove because we're moving. My wife and I are moving to Grand Junction, got a job there with education, doing science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM, STEM education. So we get to help educate kids. <laughs> It'll be good. And from there, I'll go ahead and rock hound. And because Grand Junction's just over the border of Utah, I'll be rock hounding Colorado and Utah, probably about equally. So fun. Look forward to that. And so, yeah, that's why I didn't have a video out. Um, depends on when I post this video. <laughs> Might be a few weeks before I post this one. But I'm just really busy. Moving, starting the new job, um, all that stuff. So I'll just get these out as I can. I might only get out one out video out a week. But once we get things going there in Grand Junction, I should be able to get back into the rhythm of uploading a video every Friday again. So yeah, uh, anyway, I'm just rambling. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Remember, I, just go ahead and check out Jeremy Fuller's claims. He's got a bunch of good ones and they are well worth it. So check them out. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.